Hello YouTube, this is Madjack, and here is my here's gonna be our my first let's play involving the original Rome Total War. Um, I was hoping to play the single player campaign. And let's see. Yeah, I was hoping to start playing as the Britons, because I never really played them before. Um, I've done the the Julii, and then I did the Seclusions, so I figured I should try the Barbarian Tribes next. Um, signing it to medium difficulty, uh, medium difficulty on the battle, and medium difficulty on the campaign. Um, I'm going for the long campaign. I'm not really sure if I want to conquer the entire map, or if I just want to do the objective. Typically I go for world domination, but after a while it's just a matter of time and resources, and you just... Yeah, after a while, you know you're going to win, but it just takes time. So, let's see. Yeah. Apparently, Britons are a bunch of barbarians. They have really good infantry and really good chariots. So, I'm looking forward to that. Just looking to just rush my enemies at the beginning. So, yeah, I should play very differently from what I'm used to. But, here we go. Father's grandfather was born. This was our land. These are our good places. Our gods live here in the trees and rivers. They watch over us. We are happy. We hunt. We love. We have families, homes, a good life. To the damn eye ties came along. The Romans disturb the gods. They burn the forests. They take what is ours, wives, children, land. And the Romans talk of how they will help us and protect us. They put us to sleep with golden promises. When we wake, all we had is gone, stolen. They take our sons and turn them into little Romans. Ha! So we fight to keep what is ours. What must stay ours? There can be no peace. No peace with Romans, men of stone and iron and lies. There can be only war. Alright, that was a fun little intro. Um, much better than the seclusion one. Let's see what we start out here. So we got a little spy down here. I got a random general over there, and he's carrying like a bunch of druids. I don't even know what they do. Alright. Okay. Alright. Looks like they're... Okay. Oh, well, that's cool. I'll figure them out later. So I got three little settlements here. I'm gonna want to go over to Ireland and take over Ireland because it has one settlement over there. So let's see. Oh, I got one on the mainland on France. Hello. And I got a diplomat. That's very important. You're gonna be needing this very early on to set up a uh, trade. It, set up trade agreements with every single faction in the game. So you're going to want to have more diplomats at this point. Let's see. Nope, I can't make any. So we're going to start by building roads. Those are very important. And it says I have a public order of 150%. That's muy bueno. So let's raise it up a little. Yeah, I still, I'm still in the green here. So that's a good sign. So let's keep that going. Yeah. Okay for that one. Let's go to each of my settlements. See what's up. Ah, oh, yeah, 215. Let's get taxis. Very high tax rate. And I'm still at 170, so this is all good. Alright. See if I can get another diplomat created. And diplomacy and 
Total War kind of sucks overall. They make really stupid decisions because they overall they just hate you or they hate being next to you. So it's very hard to negotiate a peace with you with any other faction because eventually they all turn on you. And so I'm going to want to send it to Italy, one down to Spain, and then I guess Africa. And let's see. And I'm going to send one west, and I'm going to send one east, and I'm going to send one south. So let me set up. See if I can get another one going. Nope. Nope. Peasants. Oh my gosh, they suck. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's start immediately building stuff. I'm gonna set up my religion. Let's see which one I want. I want happiness. I don't want public health. That sucks. Tradable goods? Nope. Give me the war stuff. Alright, let's do this one. Andrasta enables the training of Woad Warriors. Woad. Woad. Road? Woad. Woad Warriors. Stick with that. Yeah, let's see. Get another diplomat set up. I'm gonna build my armies, and then I'm just gonna just start attacking the mainland. Hopefully the Gauls get those damn Frenchies. And send my spy here onto this boat. He's going on a little trip. Oh, he can't make it. That sucks. So, let's see. Get him on it. I'll drop him off. And then I'll get this guy and try to drop him off on Ireland up here. Let's see. Alright, let's build up more shrines to Andraste. Oop, never mind. Take that back. We want roads. And then I'll get the uh, mines. Those are very important. They give you lots of wealth. And yeah, you're going to want those early on. Okay. Let's go to this other settlement. More roads. Raise the tax. So I'm still good. As long as you're above 100, the face turns green. It stays green, so... You don't have to worry about anything there. This guy... Gonna build more roads, very high tax, so I'm all set up there. And... Alright. Let's start sending this guy to other countries. And even though I'm gonna make war with them very early on, I still want to get their trade agreement right now. Because it's going to take me a while to get an army set up to start invading. And i got to get set up an army here on the mainland to protect from rebels. Because they can be a hassle early on. And, and let's set up this guy. Set him over here. Orders. March. March. Let's see if I can set up a watchtower here. Yeah, so you can see the other city, Terra. I don't know. I don't know what island or what city that became nowadays. Uh, so we're going to take care of Terra and then we're going to take care of Gaul. In the meantime, I'm going to try to recruit some folks here. Ah, barbarian mercenaries. Those guys are always good. Pretty decent early on. Spearmen, so they can handle cavalry, cal cavalry better than most. Let's get some more warband here. Let's set up. We got one there. These guys can only make peasants. I mean, you only want to use peasants to defend your cities. Even then, it's kind of iffy. And like, yeah, and if you have bad public, um, what's it, public order. Then you're gonna have to want to increase security to put the peasants down. So, yeah, I think that's yeah, that's about it for this run, for this turn. I mean, all right. Yeah, there's not much else I can do. Probably gonna get attacked next turn by the Gauls. So screw it. Rebels, damn rebels. Let's see what we got here. 
Lost two thousand dollars in that round. Whatever. Hey. All right. Let's see. Okay, we have that built. Early on, you want to get ports set up. In addition to roads, let me get the roads set up there. And then for this one, set up the shrine. Get some more warriors. Woad warriors. More shrines. Oh man, I'm gonna run out of money soon. Good thing I taxed everybody. Alright. That's good. Yes. Yes. March! Alright. These guys are happy. Let's get this diplomat here. Dupes it. Alright. Let's get this diplomat here. Get that spy on the boat. Let's drop him off on the continent. Aye aye, Captain. Moving ashore. Moving ashore. Yeah. Because once I like make a trade agreement with everybody, with my diplomat, where are you going? Get back here. Get over here. Matt and Genus. Matt you Genus. Whatever. Get over here. Sir. Send him. Moving ashore. We'll have him go down south. This guy... Send my spy towards the city that my other diplomat was heading towards. Keep moving. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, let's talk to these guys over here. See if we can set up a trade agreement and get map information. Yeah. Let's see. Trade rights. I want. I'll give you trade rights. Yeah, we'll set up trade rights with each other. I want your map information. I'll give you my map information. And then we'll be very happy with all our maps. Yay! They accepted. So that's good. That's all I wanted out of these guys. So let's see if I can hit up the. What's it? Go down south. Visit, uh, visit the Pope down here. Down to Italy and Rome. So I have to find a good route there. And then I'll pick up, make another diplomat. And we're going to send him west towards. Uh, no, wait, that's east. We're going to send him east towards uh, Russia and stuff, which is like. I think the Thracians or the Parthians. Some horse lords. Backwards horse lords. Alright, let's grab this boat. Aye, aye, Take it out. Uh, there's another ship down there from the French. So we got this ship headed towards that general. Let's see if I can send him some warriors. Some warband. Forward. Forward. Let's see if I can move this guy over too. No more moves. Alright. Let's check their... I got rid of the... Army there. Sorry, if I left the peasants there. Let's see if I can send some more guys over. Army. Yeah, slingers! Slingers! As I like to say. Grab that guy. Let's grab my, another general. Let's take a look at it. Eventually I'm going to take a look at these family members. See what they got going for them. Woo! That one has three stars. How many stars does this guy have? Only one. But he has decent influence. Influence is really good. Um, brings prestige to your family. Uh, management helps cities get along better. Less corruption. Makes more money as a result. People are happier. So you're going to want that for uh, your cities. But your generals sh generally shouldn't stay in the city. Because they're too busy fighting wars. At least in my opinion. Uh, command, of course, helps with wars. So you're like... You guys, whenever you're being attacked, they won't run away. And then your general won't run away. And that's just terrible. And then everybody loses at that point. So let's see, who else can I send over? Yes. Send up these world warriors. We're just going to make one big group. And then we're going to sail across the sea. And we're going to conquer Ireland. Dominate it. 
Yeah. There's no sovereignty now. So we're gonna extend our sovereignty over Ireland. Let's see. So I took I left the peasants there. Let's see. Eventually I would like to build another boat. But I'll take care of Ireland first. Let's see. What else can I do here? That's that. That's that. That's that. Alright. I should have sent the army over. Oh, whatever. They'll manage to fend for themselves. So we're good there. Yeah, next up Terra. Alright. Skip another turn. Carthage. Ready to ambush. Ready to ambush. Alright. I only lost $800 in profits that time. So we're making up money. We're making up money. We're getting there. Let's see. Next up, after mines, the most profitable thing is uh, ports. So we're going to get that up and running. I'm more worried about money at this point than setting up an army. I mean, I'll spend money to make one, but you need money from ports to do that. So there we go. That'll take two turns to make. Farmlands, eh. It takes me longer to get like higher population, therefore more advanced units, but um, land clearance and farming, it's usually, it helps set up like, uh, what's it, overpopulated cities. And when you get overpopulated cities, they're unhappy cities. And they start to riot every day, and you get pissed off. And if you leave a general there, they can even die. So you don't want that to happen. So I generally avoid any uh, any farming, increased farming outputs, because I hate big populations. Uh, technically, you could like fix it by like leaving the city while it's riding, and then rebels take over, and then you come and attack the rebels, and then you take over the city, and you just slaughter everybody. But I tried that once before, and I didn't realize how strong the rebels would be, and I got locked out of my city for like a couple turns. And that sucked. So, we'll work on something else. Uh, I don't have enough money for that. Okay, so after like mines and ports comes traders, so we'll make... Meh, I don't know. I'm running low on cash, so... We'll forget that now, for now. Let's see. Okay, we got a diplomat. Got them all set up. Yeah, I didn't think this one out, so he's stuck here. With nobody to hustle for. So I'll leave him here. Let's see if I can... By the time I build a port... Yeah. By the time I build a port, I'll just get a boat and drop him off. But in case... Let's work on these other guys, see if I can make them visit. Get this one to visit Spain. Which you can't play in the game. I wonder why. It's like one of the barbarian tribes. They can't do anything really, so. Let's see, that's the capital. So, let's invade the capital. Do some spying. Make it all uh, Mossad like. Alright, that's cool. It is an all right army down there. Plus these guys hanging out over here. All right, let's yes. keep this guy moving. Oh, there's another diplomat. Uh, you can speak to other other diplomats that are just wandering around, or other um, generals. They can speak for their governments, I suppose. And you can set up trade agreements and swap map information. So that's let's go talk to him over here. All right, trade rights. Both of us, map information, your map information. Alright, let's see if this works. Yay, they accepted. Alright, moving along. Let's see. Maybe if I just go down here, so yeah, let me keep going further east. Wait. Oh yeah, that's Gaelic. Who cares about that? So I got my spy there. General. General there. Yay. Let's make some woad warriors. A decent attack. Yeah, these uh the Brits apparently have really good infantry, really intense. So I think I'll be able to handle the 
um, the Romans with this. I'm just going to have to watch out for uh, cavalry. So I guess they should make more chariots while I'm at it to counter cavalry. Cavalry that they have going on. So let's set up. Do I want things? Do I want them? Let's see, are these spearmen? Because spearmen beat cal cavalry. And. Let's see, light. I mean, it doesn't really say they beat ca cavalry. Not many barbarians. Difficult to control. Yeah, it doesn't really say if it beats cavalry. And it costs more. These just take two turns. So let's make that. Just make one. I want this guy to take care of any Gauls that are coming my way, so... General. So I think that'll be it for now. Just move these guys into one big army. This army. This guy over here. Got a big stack coming along here. Just gonna wreck the Irish. They're gonna be like, oh no. It's the Brits. The angry. Alright. Hopefully, I don't have to worry about that ship. So, that's three ships. I'll be kind of screwed. Maybe I can move them closer. See how much range it has. Alright. I'm still good. I'm protected. Don't have to worry about anything. I'm um, not going to build much this turn. Let's see. Oh, man. Everyone's pissed off at the Greeks. Yeah. So, yeah, that'll be my turn for this one. Yeah, at the beginning, it's really quick turns because you, you don't have a whole lot to do. Yeah. I mean, I could put auto... Like, it'll auto-choose which uh, cities I have, but or which buildings I'm gonna pick but I don't I really don't care for that I like to choose what I need to pick but um, maybe later on when I have too many cities in the back countries and I'm just like rampaging through the world I won't have time or I won't care it won't matter but typically I want to get like um, financial stuff set up which involves ports mines roads which are the main major ones and trades of course and then we can get assassins, and we can start assassinating people. Oh, look at Gollum, where's he going? Ah, oh, he's gonna trade with them. Alright, let's see what's the damage this time. Only 107. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Oh okay. yeah. So, the last of the Romans are attacking the Greeks. Can't say I blame them. Damn buggers. Boy fondlers. No more moves. Alright. Uh oh. This guy's coming to wreck my day. I gotta get him quick. Alright, let's get this. Get the boat over here to avoid that. Damn rebels. Let's see. Yeah, I can drop them off too. Alright. Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm going to be kind of screwed if he attacks my ship with my army on it. That's going to just be bad news, bears. Let's see. But, don't worry about spill milk and such. Let's see. Uh -oh. What? I didn't set up a road? Oh, wait, I do have that. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's work on a port. I can invest in something. Is this the one with the mines? I still can't afford the mines. That costs a lot of money. For it. In which case, let's build a trader. 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 Yeah. Let's see. Let me build another unit. Take longer, cost more money, but we'll get there. Got chariots. This old guy, 51 years old. 
usually your first generation, like, because he's like uh, the head of the household. I forgot the Peter Familias of my family. Para vendos, para vendos. It's gonna be the head of our family. Usually those guys last till they're like seventy-ish. Usually people like you're expecting them to die at like sixty, but like these guys last forever. Usually in the beginning, because they're ancient. Like I don't know, I don't know why, but later on they die earlier. But not in the case of this guy. This guy would probably last till like seventy-five, and uh, probably die during battle. I'll try to kill him off at seventy, making sure he dies in a battle. Ooh. Against the legions of the Persian army or something. Let's see. What's that? We're building one over here. Trader? Good. Still building a port. Let's move my diplomats. That's right. Just, my lord? You have to do stuff every turn. Alright. Let's move them over yes, here. Out of moves. Got like a diplomat. Just try to get to Spain. After that, I don't know what I'm going to do after that. I have to move my ship back. Anyways, let's try to get to the eye ties over sure. here. Nope, I already moved that guy. Good build the world warrior, so. Not much I can do on this turn. Keep going. What are these guys? Sneaky gulls. Ah! Oh, we're gonna die. Don't kill me. Did I lose everybody? I lost everybody. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna shoot my... Oh my gosh. Yay! We executed a spy from the Germans. The Germans. Uh, don't tell me I lost everybody. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, I lost everybody. Oh my gosh. Oh, but I gained a general. Cause he turned. Oh, wow, I lost the two guys. That sucks so much. I lost a whole army. Ah, Irish pirates. Who would have thought? Way to go. Keeping me on my toes. But hey, I got a new general. Let's check out him. Because once your kids turn 16, they can become generals. Well, let's check him out. Well, he always has a mustache. That's pretty impressive. Superior builder. Command talent. Alright. Alright. Whatever. Screw it. Screw it, Ireland. We're coming back. We're coming back. Eventually. Hey, I can build ships now. I mean, silver lining people. Gotta, gotta look on the positive side. Who's Lanad? Lanad? Oh, that's my diplomat. Yeah, you can improve your diplomats. Oh, what's the point, really? I'm just gonna make up trade rights and map information, and that's about it. And I'll just give them up. Alright. So we got the port. I can make boots in London. See, got my wood warriors and some 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 more of river. Yeah, that town. Okay, I'm just gonna build up a stack of army. That's pretty much what I do. I'm gonna build a stack, an army stack, and just like. Just go to town on these folks while I'm building that up. I just have to build up my economy and just fend off any rebels because I now have to rebuild some. Gotta make wood warriors in each of these cities. Wood warriors. Screw peasants. Peasants suck. They will die so fast. Okay, maybe I'll get some more band. Yeah, mobile world warriors. Uh oh. Alright, that's the end of our 30 minute session. I'm gonna 
try to end it here. I'm not sure if I want to do longer sessions or just 15 minute ones. So thanks for listening to me, guys. I know it's been a bore. Not a lot happened. You got to see me fail pretty spectacularly and then curse out the Irish, which is always fun, I guess, if you're into that thing. No, I'm just kidding. I love the Irish. I really, really. Right. All right. Uh, so, yeah, let's end the session. See you in the next one.